Hi, this is Wine Time, and you are on location at 1776. I'm Andy Andreski. Today's discussion is corks. I'm going to open up two bottles. First bottle is a, with a waiter's cork, and you want to take this cork and turn it, turn the bottle or turn the cork screw backwards a quarter turn, and that inserts it. You don't want to go forward on it, right? And you can twist it down and use your thumb on this. This is where it's going to do most of the pressure, and if it's not pushing or not pulling out right, you can turn it one more time and out it comes. Now I'm going to use an asso and asso with these two prongs, this is sometimes is very good for older corks that it adhered to the bottle. So you want to wiggle it down, get it down as far as you can. So you can push, push, push on this and I can feel the break in it and then in one quick motion you want to take it and pull and then pull out and there you go. Next we have these corks. First champagne corks. This is a brand new cork. This one is brand new and, and it hasn't been inserted so that's about the size of what this cork uh, looks like brand new. Next is a six month old in the bottle, six months, and, and you can see the mushroom starting to form. This is an, a little older one, a little more formed mushroom. And here is the last one and this is about 10 years in a bottle. So you can see how, how, sh how it shrunk and that's very typical and a good tip off that, that it's been in the bottle a long time. Next we get these plastics. Uh, one of the things when you pull a plastic cork out of the bottle it's been vacuumed. The air has been taken out in order for it to set in the bottle it needs air. If there was air in it then the pressure of, of the climates would push it up so in order to set it so you don't have to lay down bottles like this the moisture is not a factor anymore and there's two relatively two types there's this extruded kind this would be a jacket around it it's sort of like a sausage and then they they pump in a material there that hardens so it's a two um, two, two, two types this is a balloon like and you can see right here they push in this uh, product here they push this in and and it for it's a foam and and it hardens to this effect so a lot of times you can see that these are shorter these are a little smaller and shorter corks just mean drink them sooner uh, here we've got a composite cork this would be cork that has developed uh, once they pull the cork off the tree and they the cork stands straight up and they they they're wrapped so if you can if you can imagine the cork bark and and you can see here the ages of, of it so it's about a seven year this is about a seven year old cork that's been on the tree seven years and these are the the age lines the growth lines so from there uh, if you can imagine all the corks all around on a band and then they cut that and then and then they punch them out this after they punch them out just like if you make cookies you'll have a, a bunch left and instead of making a cookie like they put all the dough back together and then redo make new cookies they've got all this extra stuff and they chop it all up and then they glue it so this is a composite cork this here is a hand cut cork and you can see little crystals so this this is a show of tartrates and and that's a, a common occurrence especially when you store very cold uh, 40 degrees not freezing but your cellars in the 40s here is a bad cork and reason it's bad is it's been infected all the way to the top of the cork and you can see all the the, the wine lines on it. Here is a uh, an aged out, this one was 15 years 
in the bottle. And you can see here that I have twisted the bottle and, and it lays, so when it lays down, that cork is down, I twist and turn a quarter turn and the, the water or the liquid inside will infect the bottom part more than anything else. So you can see that I've turned this one a lot. And, and corks are individual. They can expect them not to be good after 10 or 12 years. So if you hold a whole case, expect a bottle or two not to make it. That's the story of corks and I'll see you next time.